Do you wish you could play GTA 5 on your computer but you get this error? If you do, watch this video till the end and I'll help you guys out fix this issue without having to reinstall the game. Hey guys, this is Dr. Glitch. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can fix the missing DLL file error that a lot of people usually get while trying to start GTA 5 or pretty much any other software that gives you this error, guys. Now, before we get to how you can fix it, let's just first address why this happens in the first place so that we can accurately find where the problem lies and fix it accordingly. Now, let me just explain to you guys that there are two categories of people that would face this issue. The first category being the one that have just downloaded GTA 5 on their computer and are getting this error. And the second set of people are the ones that have had GTA 5 on their computer for a while and have even played it. But suddenly they've been getting this error and haven't been able to play ever since. Now, I've actually faced both of these issues. The first time was when I just downloaded GTA 5 and I just wasn't able to start it. I learned how to fix it and I was able to play the game just fine until recently when I tried opening up the game and it just wouldn't start. I got the same error again and I was able to fix this as well and that's the reason you're seeing the gameplay right now in this video. But nonetheless guys, I'm here to help you guys out and that's what I'm going to do right now. So without any further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Alright guys, so the reason for this error basically isn't because you haven't downloaded or installed the game properly, but it's simply because you haven't downloaded or installed the latest version of Windows Media Feature Pack on your PC. Now if you guys don't already know, Windows Media Feature Pack helps you run a lot of your games and softwares on your PC, so it's extremely important to have the correct version of Windows Media Feature Pack that is compatible with your specific device installed on your PC in order to run these games and softwares. Now, in order to install the proper version of Windows Media Feature Pack on your computer, you need to know what version of Windows your PC is running, first of all. So to do that, you can type about your PC on the search window at the bottom left corner of your screen. So on this page, you're going to be able to see what exact version of Windows your PC is running. So as you guys can see, I'm running version 2004, which is Windows 10 Enterprise N. And I actually just got it installed a few days ago. So as you guys can see, I just installed it on 25th June 2020. And ever since I've updated, my computer to this version of windows i just haven't been able to run the games or softwares like i usually would so if you feel like you're in the same situation there are actually two things that you can do right now you can either go back to the previous version of windows which is extremely easy i'm going to teach you how to do that as well or you can download Windows Media Feature Pack, the version that is compatible with your build version of Windows. So first, I'm gonna show you how to download Windows Media Feature Pack, and then I'm gonna show you how to go back to the previous version of your Windows build. Now, keep in mind, you only have to do one of these two things to fix your issue, you don't have to do both. All right, guys, so to download Windows Media Feature Pack, you literally have to type Windows Media Feature Pack and the build version of your Windows on Google, and just click on the first search result that you see on Google. And then you want to click on this option right here, guys. So you want to download it from here. So it's going to say download the update package now. So you just want to click on it and click on download once again. So you're going to see two options once you're in this screen. So the first is for a 32 bit operating system. And the second one is for a 64 bit. So you're going to click on the second option and download it. Now, if you guys are running other build versions, uh, like for example, any of these, then there's a separate page for it. So you're gonna have to download it from there. I'm gonna be leaving a link to it in the description box down below. So the download procedure is extremely easy. Again, you have to select uh, the operating system that you're running. So 64 bit, of course. So once you actually download the compatible version of Windows Media Feature Pack on your PC and restart your PC once, you should be able to run GTA 5 or any other softwares for that matter, perfectly fine. But if you're one of those guys that had GTA 5 on your PC, and played it for a while until you started seeing this error. And it's probably because you've updated your system. I'm gonna help you guys go back to the previous build version of Windows so that you can run all games and softwares without any problem. All right, so in order to go back to the previous version of Windows, go on to Windows Update Settings, click on View Update History, click on Recovery Options, and as you guys can see, Windows actually gives you an option right here that says go back to the previous version of Windows 10. So all you have to do is just click on get started and follow through all the instructions that you see on the screen and you should be able to go back. But since I've already done that, I'm going to try opening up GTA 5 now and we're going to see if it works. I'm just going to speed the video up. You guys might already know how long it takes to just load up GTA 5. So as you guys can see, we're finally in the game. 
and that's pretty much how you fix the missing dll file issue now keep in mind guys this does not just work for gta 5 but it works for every single software or game that gives you this error that says missing dll file so you should not be able to fix the issue after watching this video if you have any questions leave it down in the comment section and i'll make sure to answer it with that being said guys hope you find this video helpful if you do please don't forget to leave a like to this video and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel thanks a lot for watching i'll talk to you guys in the next one